Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you something that everyone asks quite often. How do I change the color of objects when there isn't that option available on the floating toolbar? So stay tuned and we're going to get right down to it. And I'm going to show you three different ways to change the color. Now, I'd mentioned earlier to my followers that in September, I'm going to be giving away a free gift. So if you learned anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and turn those notifications on. Otherwise, you are never going to know what that free gift is. So let's get to the meats and potatoes of how to change colors on elements where you don't see that color chooser in the toolbar. So. I've got here a purse. It's not a fancy purse, it's just a purse, and it's the color turquoise. But you know, I don't like the color turquoise. I like purple, I wanna change it to the color purple. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like that. And I'm gonna to go to edit. And the first way that I'm gonna show you how to change the color is by going into adjust. Now, if you click on adjust, and you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see some color choosers here. And what do they do? Well, you guessed it. They change the color of the element that's on your page. So for example, if I'm choosing to change the color of that turquoise, I can click it. And then I can just toggle the hue and saturation to get the exact color that I like. And there's also a little toggle here for brightness, but I'm going to change the color to purple. So I'm going to slide this slider all the way up to there. And I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper in color like that. Okay, so there it is. And if I want to make it a little bit brighter, I can make it a little bit brighter or darker. However, you want to toggle that brightness. I'm going to take another copy of this and I'm going to go back into the color chooser and I'm going to change the color of this again to a deep orange. Okay, let me take another copy of this and now I'm going to change it to a red color. So I'll just toggle that button and I'll bring this all the way up. And if that doesn't work, you can always bring it all the way down. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so there is the first way to change the color of an element where you don't have the color chooser. I'm gonna to go to the second method for changing the color of any element. So I wanna change the color of these white pants to a different color. Now, if I click on the edit photo and I go to adjust, white isn't gonna be an option. White and black are more difficult colors to change yeah, because they aren't colors, right? So one of the things that we can do is we can go back um, to the main settings in Edit Photo. And if you have Canva Pro, you can actually go to Magic Edit. And we're gonna use Magic Edit to change the color of those white pants. Now, this is a Pro feature, so if you don't have Pro, you might not be able to use this feature. But I'm gonna use Brush. You can use brush or you can click, it doesn't matter. But let me, now I'm gonna use the brush feature. That way I have better control over what I can touch up. And I'm gonna make my brush size just a little bit smaller so that I can um, get in there a little bit more. So I'm going to just decrease the brush size a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna highlight the area that I want to change like that. And 
I'll come over here. And this does take a little bit of patience. And I don't think it really matters if you go over the lines. Uh, but now I've got that selected, so I'm just going to unclick. And in here, I'm going to type in change color to red. And I'll say generate. And it's going to give me four different options for changing that color of the pants. And whichever one I like, I can replace. Okay, so it's give, given me different options for um, the pants for me to replace. Now it isn't perfect. You see it, some of the pants are still white, but um, we do have four options. So when you're done, you can just click the option you want and you can say done. Okay, so that is the second option to use magic edit. So now I'll show you the third option. And before I get to the third option, I just want to show you the difference between um, some vector graphics where you'll see the color chooser. So in this one, the color chooser is there. So I can quickly change it to red or some other color. But on this graphic, that color chooser is not there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit. And this is the third option that you have for changing the color of an element. We can go into um, uh, a, an app called Dual Tone. It's actually an effect. So if we click on Dual Tone, we can use any one of these items to change the colors. But the best one is actually the custom option because we get to choose both the highlights and the shadows. So if I come in here to the shadows and let's say I want to change the color of these shoes to green. I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to move this little circle slider up and change it to green like that. Now, unfortunately, it does change all of the colors. So even that little red notch changed. Um, but you know what? Uh, we can fix that because we can just make a duplicate and we can go back into edit back into duotone and we can just say none and what we can do is we can just crop the sneaker leaving that red notch there and then we can just put it over top as if it didn't change anything so that that's the third way to change a color of an element if you don't have the option to change the color. Now, before we wrap everything up, what I want to do is I want to show you how to change the color of a graphic where it's all one color and it also doesn't have a color chooser on the floating toolbar. So in this case right here, we have a hat with a mustache and there's no color chooser. And again, we can go into edit and we can go into duotone and we can use any of these different preset duotone colors to change that graphic. Or you can also come back to custom and let's say we want to change it to a bright red. We can just click the shadows and we can move that all the way up there. And then we can also change the highlights to the same color. Now you can either take a copy here. You can actually even just uh, use the uh, color picker, for example. Uh, if you wanted to make it exactly green, you could also make it exactly green um, by clicking on the, the green shoe there and that will change it into green. But you would have to change both the highlights and the shadows to the same color to get that um, shade perfect. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to change them both to red. So I'll just go back into my color chooser. I'm going to move that all the way back there and all the way to the top. I'm just going to take a copy of this. 
And I'm also going to change my highlights to the same color by pasting here. And now I'm all set. And there you go. So what did you think? If you learned anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. I've also opened up my YouTube channel memberships where I go live every week and give personalized help to my adult learners. If you're interested, click that join button. There's a level for everyone. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.